Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of February 2020. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Tower upright. And next, we have Major Arcana, the High Priestess in the upright, followed then by the Four of Wands reversed. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Wands upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune upright. And next, we have the um, Temperance, Major Arcana upright, followed then by the King of Wands in the upright. And your final two cards are Major Arcana, the Star, with the Seven of Wands reversed. So you've got a few major arcana here, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like it could be a pretty intense month for you, Libra. For your overall energy, you have that of the Knight of Swords in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, like yourself, and Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now, it looks like important news is going to be the theme of the month for you, uh, Definitely, um, Libra, the Knight of Swords comes rushing in with some important information. This could also be a suitor who is coming in, uh, rushing towards you, has a lot to say, uh, wants to take you out, wants to uh, like offer something to you. Uh, this could be, um, for some of you in business, this could be a written offer or a verbal offer for a uh, career in business. For others of you, this could be uh, playing out, like I said, in the relationship front, or this could just be a general thing, a general theme of important information sort of flooding in throughout the month. This is your also your own energy. So this could be you. Um, maybe you're shouting things from the rooftops. <laughs> um, the Knight of Swords is, is, comes in so quickly. I get so rushed out and almost tongue-tied when I hold that card. It's a lot of energy and it's fast moving and it's very communicative. So it looks like there's going to be, for some of you, this could be several uh, different people that you're communicating with. Um, for others of you, like I said, it's one special person coming towards you with some important information. Now the card that is crossing you, which is waning in and out throughout the month of February is Major Arcana, the tower in the upright position. The tower brings in shocking news, especially here with the um, Knight of Swords. There could be some uh, very surprising news coming your way uh, this month, Libra. It could shock you completely. Um, or the tower energy could be things playing out uh, bizarre, just like, you know, sort of just taking you off guard. It could be something I didn't see that coming. Definitely, it's involving some kind of information because it's crossing the uh, Knight of Swords. So there's shocking news, shocking information just could be shock, send shockwaves throughout the entire month. For some of you, this could be big, important news. For others of you, this could be um, just several, again, several uh, incidences happening throughout the month. And you keep hearing more and more information about this situation. For some of you, the shocking news could be, uh, you know, somewhat um, disruptive. For others of you, perhaps it's just shocking news that you have to wait and see how it plays out. So in your past, this is something that could have played out a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. We do have the high priestess here in the upright position. You're tapping into your intuition about something. Maybe you sense something was coming or something was off or something was uh, afoot, <laughs> so to speak. Maybe in the past you were sensing something that played out or you were sort of getting into the routine and the habit of tapping into your intuition, which it seems like it's going to be... Um, a good thing to be doing throughout the month of uh, February. Now coming out of January, moving into February, we do have the energies here, the Four of Wands in the reverse position. Four of Wands is really good energy. It's known as one of the best cards in the Minor Arcana. 
So even reversed, it still holds much of the same meaning. This is about reaching a summit. This is about concluding something that we've been working for for a long time. It could be representative of a relationship that's been building towards something. Uh, for others of you, this could represent a project, a, a, a literal home that you've been building or working towards. This is very strong energy that can uh, point to celebrations in the home and the family. It's connected to the family. When the card is inverted, however, this, um, this can point to sometimes a little bit upsetting news or somebody being kind of difficult in the home uh, situation. So perhaps for some of you, that's what's going on. Maybe this shocking news is coming from within the family or the home structure, and it's sort of upsetting the balance a little bit for others of you. You're just waiting. You know that you're almost at the summit. You're almost there because the four of wands is still good energy. So it means that the structure of the, the home, the work life, or the um, family is still in place but something is causing a little bit of a disruption here, it looks like. Now that energy gives way in the early part of February to the 10 of Pentacles in the upright position. 10 of Pentacles um, is really good energy in terms of stability, security, and fi uh, finances, definitely. Uh, this can point to where um, perhaps somebody in the home has gotten a job or maybe even you yourself have gotten a job somewhere else and perhaps you have to travel or do something, you know, or move or what have you. And therefore, um, but you need to do it in order to make this extra money or this more money kind of uh, deal. So some of you could be, you know, perhaps this written offer, if it's a written offer for some of you, this is an offer for you to make a lot more money. For others of you, it could represent someone in the home has gotten a raise or uh, it can point to inheritance too, where, you know, financial abundance is just sort of dropped in your lap. Some of you, that's what the shocking news is, is all of a sudden you didn't realize that you were in someone's will and now you're getting more money <clears throat> that's coming towards you. It's very good, strong, stable energy. And around the middle of the month, we have the energies of the Ace of Wands in the upright position. This is actually very, uh, a little bit of a weird reading. It's like all over the map, but um, yeah, you'll definitely have to leave a comment in the comment section below if it resonates and how so. But the Ace of Wands is all about that spark, that new beginning, passionate new beginning, where you're passionate about something. For some of you, it can point to where you've lost passion, perhaps in your career or in your relationship or what have you, and it returns now. It's back to that passionate place. For others of you, like I said, this is just a, a passionate new opportunity, a passionate new uh, situation that could come up again about travel. Maybe you have an, uh, an opportunity now to travel due to, you know, extra funds or due to a work situation that puts you in a position of being able to, uh, you know, travel places. So there's that uh, beautiful new beginning in something, but it's really got you jazzed up. You're very, very passionate about it. Now, your, how you're going to be feeling in the month of February is, this card's been coming up so often today, the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. Uh, you're going to be feeling lucky. And it looks like whatever this, the big shakeup is going on here and um, something that could come out of the blue, but it looks like um, it, it's bringing some lucky breaks for you, uh, Libra. So... There's uh, definitely, this is moving in the direction of the universe where we get out of our own way, no resistance. So we're moving towards our goals peacefully and easily because everything's just sort of falling into place with the Wheel of Fortune and the Upright. So there's no stagnation, there's no resistance, there's no stop starts. It's just moving smoothly towards our goals. So you're gonna be feeling lucky. <laughs> Literally, you're going to be feeling lucky this month. Now, in the uh, people and environment position, we do have the Sagittarius card here, Temperance, in the upright position. Temperance card points to cooperation and peace and healing and balance. So um, whatever is going on in your environment, it looks like it's, it's going to, something is going to happen here to bring peace and uh, cooperation. 
So definitely a good card to have as your uh, people environment, e either that or people are viewing you as someone who's uh, very cooperative, uh, very peaceful. Why wouldn't you be cooperative with all this, you know, lucky, wonderful energy around you? So um, this is a beautiful energy. Like I said, whether it's you're dealing with the people in your environment and everybody's just being cooperative or it's people are viewing you as cooperative no matter how you slice it is excellent energy and your hopes and fears position we do have the king of wands here in the upright position uh this is about fire energy the king of wands is fire aries leo sag some of you could be hoping for um you know a fire sign but others of you could just be hoping perhaps to embody the the energies of the King of Wands is somebody who who is a, a master at activity and accomplishment and getting things done and getting things done quickly. He also governs travel. We do see some potential travel here in your reading. So maybe some of you are expecting or, or can't just, you just can't wait. You're like champing at the bit. You can't wait to get to your destination. You can't get things moving fast enough. So you're very excited, it looks like. And the last two cards that conclude the reading and conclude the month for you are um, the beautiful energies of the star in the upright position. The star, the Aquarius energy is all about, it's very healing energy, but it's all about that hope, optimism, feeling really, really um, that blind faith where we just know that things are on the right track and that we're moving in the right direction. It's definitely very optimistic energy. And it's paired up with the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. The Seven of Wands is uh, uh, letting go of that defensive energy in the upright position. This is where we're trying to defend ourselves, defend our position, uh, defend someone else. But the card is now um, released. So it's like or reverse. So it's like releasing that energy of feeling self-protective or having to protect someone else. So you're feeling very optimistic. It looks like an interesting, interesting reading here, Libra. Can't wait to hear the comments. So I think I'm going to close it out here. And uh, I hope this reading helped. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.